Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. I'm going to show you guys how you can make your dicky pants look like slacks or make them look like dress pants. Right here we got a brand new pair of 874 original dickies. These are size 44 by 32. Me personally, I like to uh, oversize my pants. But keep in mind, these are not ridiculously oversized to where they're baggy. I'm 6'1", 170. And I wear my pants a bit higher than normal. At the end of this video, I'll put the end results, a couple pictures of me, and you could tell they're just pretty much the perfect size, but you could tell they're a little bigger. And then right there, you got the starch. I use Stay Flow. I would recommend anybody out there use Stay Flow. It's the best one out there, liquid starch. Don't dilute it at all. That's another thing I would recommend. Don't dilute it. Every piece of advice I'm going to give you in this video is something I learned from experience, not from something I heard. Right here, I'm just going to go in and iron it as you normally would with no starch, nothing. Just iron it to get all the wrinkles out and whatever. I kind of just do this out of habit before I starch and crease any of my clothes or any of my pants. So just do one pant leg at a time, one half of a pant leg at a time on each side. I usually do this kind of as preparation. Also for the starch, do not buy it on Amazon. Amazon, it's super overpriced on Amazon. I would recommend you buy it at Walmart. You can either order it online or go in person, which is what I do. Right here, now we're gonna start working on the cuff. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a one inch cuff, pretty much on the inside of the pants, on the end of the leg. There will be a little seam at the end of it. And you pretty much want to use that as a guide. Just fold it inside out and use that as a cuff. And then you want to iron the inside of it to set that cuff and lock it in place. And then just work from the inside to the outside. You can see I ironed the inside of it and the outside. Right here I just cut off a little piece of string that was there. Sometimes I use a lighter to burn off those little strings that are hanging, but you could do either or. And this is also a preparation for the cuffs because we're going to come back later and starch these to make them look even nicer and set in that crease because it's a thick piece of cloth. Since we're folding it, it's going to take some extra work. And right here now, what I'm doing is I'm folding them inside out so that I could spray the starch. I always recommend that you Spray the starch on the inside of the pants, not on the outside. So if you would like, you can spray the entire the entirety of your pants with starch. But me, my main concern is the crease. So I'm only going to spray the crease with starch. And don't worry about spraying the cuffs with starch. We'll come back to that. So just make sure you get all four creases. If you're following exactly what I'm doing, just make sure you get all four creases. Or if you want to starch the entire pants, then just spray the whole thing down. Then I'm going to fold them back inside out, fold them with a crease. And right here, this is something that pretty much you're going to have to do is fold the pockets outside like I just did right there because it's going to mess you up. It's going to add a, another layer of cloth that you don't need when you're ironing. Then pull out your bandana and start ironing the crease. You just want to go over it as many times as you can until it gets sharp. And once it's sharp enough, don't keep ironing it because then it's just unnecessary. You're just going to be You're just going to make all the starch go away and that's pretty unnecessary. And the purpose for the bandana is so that you don't burn your pants and you burn the bandana instead because you're going to have to go over it quite a few times to get that crease right. And then right there, what I'm doing now is I'm getting a crease in the waistline. You don't have to do a crease in the waistline. It's up to you. But if you notice, I did the crease in the waistline without the bandana because the waistline's thick. So I would recommend just doing it without the bandana on that part. 
and then make sure you always check the crease and make sure it's getting nice and sharp right here i adjusted the camera because i don't have any lighting equipment so sorry about that just bought a new lens though so your boy's kind of broke and you just want to repeat this process to all the way down the entire crease it's pretty much going to be the same for every side and so now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go in without the bandana and iron over it really quick. You guys don't have to do this, but this pretty much what I'm doing is I'm burning it intentionally just because me personally, I like the look of that. But you guys do not have to do that if you do not want to. And another thing, too, I'm not using any steam on my iron. I don't have any water in my iron. Now, the reason for that is if you think about it. If you use steam in your iron, you're pretty much diluting the starch because what is steam? Steam's water. So I don't like to dilute my starch at all. The reason being for that, and I especially don't like to dilute it when I am ironing or applying it to my dicky pants because dickies are thin. They're very thin. So when you iron them, you evaporate most of the starch for the most part just by default even without steam or water when you dilute the starch so that's why i would never recommend you dilute the starch or use steam if, when ironing increasing your dickies unless you're doing a more thicker material such as levi's jeans Another thing I want to say too is this is really going to benefit you guys that want to look professional but might not have the money for real slacks. I know they're pretty expensive. I used to work at Macy's so I know all the prices and I could definitely say from personal experience after I started creasing my pants people definitely look at me different you know before I shake that person's hand or meet that person they could already tell whether they know it or not I've already made an impression on them because they can see it subconsciously or consciously they can tell that i care about my clothes and i'm serious about it it also has a lot to do with posture though keep that in mind but also don't don't forget can never make another first impression you'll get one chance of that so right here on the cuffs i spray starch on the inside and then right there i just got some starch on my hand so i wiped it off with the bandana and then i'm just going to take the bandana and just go over it right here i really didn't need the bandana for this spot that i was ironing but then i'm going to place the bandana inside the pants then i'm going to iron it that is definitely necessary to have the bandana and iron it pretty much iron it the same way that i did the first time but now with starch and a bandana and also guys more information will be in the description of where to buy the starch where you could get an iron ironing board where i buy my dickies all that stuff and whatnot so i finished this i'm gonna hang up the dickies i suggest not folding it but i highly suggest hanging them and still folding them and letting them dry like that and the last thing i want to say guys if you didn't already know Back in the day, a lot of gang members used to crease their dickies and used to crease their jeans. And they still do to this day. Some of them, not as much. So I just want to say, be careful of where you're wearing this. Just be cautious. Be wary. But on that note, at the end of the day, you want to be careful anywhere you go, no matter how you're dressed. Especially if it's nighttime and especially if you're in a place you know that you shouldn't be. But anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. If you have a question, leave a comment and I'll be sure to reply to it. And remember, practice makes perfect. It's not an easy skill to learn.